everyone. This is Suzanne. Welcome to another vlog. Today we're going to talk about bus trips. Most specifically, tips for surviving long bus trips. Yeah. yeah. There are a number of great reasons to pick the bus as your preferred method of transportation for your next trip. Aside from the opportunity to see more of the country you're traveling through, you can also save a lot of money as traveling by bus can be super, super cheap. Despite the long journey, traveling by bus doesn't need hard work. Check out these tips for surviving a long bus trip so you can be as comfortable and enjoyable as possible. We go to number one, check the travel details the night before and arrive early. Make sure you have your ticket and other documents ready the night before. This is also a good time to pack your belongings ready for the trip the following day. Unless you've managed to get your hands on a ticket with a designated number, it's worth arriving at the bus station early. Arriving at the bus station early avoids being stressed before boarding and gives you time to grab a coffee and get to the correct place with plenty of time. Now we go to number two. When it comes to seats, try to choose a double seat as much as possible. Sometimes buses does not run at full capacity and there's an opportunity to get a double seat to yourself. If this happens, take it. This gives you a chance to spread out a little more during the entire trip. It's also much easier to sleep if you are in a more relaxed state due to the extra space. So makakatulog kayo na mahimbing. Now we go to number three. Choose a seat in the middle or the front. If you're going to sit at the back of the bus, I'm sure it's going to be a bumpy ride. So try to sit further up the bus. In addition, this makes it easier for you to get on and off the bus during rest breaks. Though limited because it's aircon, there is also often more fresh air at the front of the bus and it's less common to have unpleasant smells. Now, if there's a toilet on the bus, don't sit nearby it. This would lead to constant disturbance. Now we go to number four. Wear comfortable clothes that will keep you warm. There's nothing worse than feeling too cold or too warm on a long bus drive. When riding on a bus, especially on long trips, Dress comfortably in layers. If you're wearing comfortable layers, you can easily adjust to the temperature. Avoid wearing restrictive clothing that you will sweat in and find it hard to stretch in during rest stops. The last thing that you want is to feel uncomfortable during the entire trip. Now we go to number five. Bring a neck pillow. Take a neck pillow so you can sleep well on your journey. If you won't, you might end up with a stiff neck at your destination. Even cheap versions of the neck pillows provide much needed relief when traveling. Now we go to number six, pack earplugs and eye mask. You might be tired, but the bus driver, Shempre, wants to stay awake. Expect to hear local pop music or badly dubbed action films played at loud volumes. Therefore, ear mask and eye plugs is always the answer for your peaceful ride. Now we go to number seven, pack healthy snacks. There are usually breaks along the way, especially if it's a long ride, but there's no guarantee that the next stop that the driver favors will have much variety to offer. Plus, buying snacks at rest stops means you could end up paying inflated prices, so be prepared. Ang mahal dun, ha? sometimes it costs you three to four times more. Pack snacks and make sure it's healthy. This will help you balance out the sugar with some goodness and will let you indulge with few comforts during the entire journey. Keep your hunger at bay with nuts and seeds in between your sugary snacks. Eating too much unhealthy snacks will make you feel bloated, which is the last thing you need on a bus trip, especially if it's a long one. So stock up with healthy drinks or snacks before you leave. And even if there's no stop at all, at least you're prepared. We go to number eight. Stay hydrated and avoid too much caffeine. Being hydrated is the key on long forms of transport. So make sure you at least bring water for your trip. You may even want to consider a sport drink or electrolyte tablets. Now, it can be tempting to consume a lot of coffee to pass the time. But you must consider bathroom breaks. If there isn't any toilet on the bus, then it could lead to discomfort. 
So try to avoid drinking too much caffeine on a long trip. We go to number nine, bring a hand sanitizer. If nature called during rest stops, bossed restrooms is generally a bit of an experience and often don't have any water or working taps. So to be safe, bring a hand sanitizer all the time with you. We go to number 10, bring some entertainment. Whether it's an iPad, a great book, or something to listen to, bring something to keep you occupied for the whole trip. Download a few podcasts or an addictive TV series or a Korean pop drama and settle in to enjoy. We go to number 11. Keep your valuable close to you and look after them. Pack your valuables in your carry-on baggage. Bus companies generally won't take any responsibility for your luggage and the chances of having any valuables breaking is greater if they're in the holding section at the bottom of the bus. Now make sure you secure your valuables by keeping them on your person and out of people's sight. Ensure they are not easily accessible through an open pocket in case you decide to sleep in a while on the bus. Do not ever put valuables in the main storage of the bus. Now if you have to put valuables in a backpack in the overhead compartment, make sure that it's in your side at all times. We go to number 12. Change your position regularly and never slouch. In order to avoid lower back pain, it's best to change your position regularly and avoid slouching. This will stop prolonged pressure on one area and helps to keep blood flowing. Siempre slouching puts pressure on your lower back and can make things worse. Try to sit up straight for as long as possible with good posture. We go to number 13. Take your shoes off and consider compression socks. If you're someone that doesn't have any good circulation, you could consider wearing compression socks. This would prevent varicose veins. Either way, provided that you have a nice clean socks on, it shouldn't be a problem with other passengers. We go to number 14, rest often and exercise at rest stops. When the bus stops for rest stops, take full advantage of this by stretching your legs. Getting the blood flowing will help prevent lower back pain and muscle aches during the journey. Also, take advantage of the rest stops to eat some food, use the bathroom, and take in the fresh air. We go to the last, number 15. Take photos. Chances are you're going to pass a lot of great views as you head towards your destination. Why not use the time to take a lot of photos of the places you drive past? Not only will this keep you occupied, but you'll have some great images of your trip to boot. Pick a window seat and get snap happy. So there, I gave you 15 tips for surviving long bus trips. So whenever you travel using a bus, remember all these. Another episode has passed. I do hope you enjoy all my tips and I'll continue to give you more so it will help you with all your travels. So thank you very much for watching. Till my next vlog, you take care.